Dear friends and family, there's something that I need to talk to you guys about. There's something that I need to be honest about. Something that I haven't talked about ever in any video, any discussion until today. Today I posted something on Facebook um, about me that not a lot of people actually know about. Um, uh, it's something that that I've hidden, that I've been ashamed of, um, that I don't need to be. Because having this, uh, a lot of people have it, and I have ADD. I've had it since I was in middle school. I was diagnosed with it in middle school. Um, I just got out of the shower. I've been thinking a lot about what I'm saying. And if I go on a tangent, that you'll understand why. I first realized that I had ADD, that I was actually affected by this when I first started taking uh, medication for it. In eighth grade uh, or seventh grade, middle school age, I took it and I um, it was towards the end of the year and I had a lot of projects I needed to finish because I didn't turn a lot of my work in because I had ADD. <laughs> I didn't focus. I didn't sit down. I didn't do what I needed to do and for the longest time I thought that was normal and I thought the only reason why I could get things done was because I just didn't pay attention. I didn't feel like it, but it was because I needed medication to balance out whatever needed to be balanced out in my brain. And I did a project that I had been dreading doing. Um, it was, I'm getting anxiety thinking about it. Um, there was a project I did uh, where I had to put, uh, create an island, create my own island. And um, we had to have a certain amount of cities, a certain amount of rivers, a certain amount of oceans and like West Ocean and a East Ocean and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, name it, come up with an economy, and I took pills um, to complete this project, um, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever created, to be honest, it was amazing, it was, it, it had so much detail, I had so many mountains, uh, the mountains were in super good detail, the, the rivers were were really cool looking and the names were so creative and uh, coming up with the economy and everything that I made um, into that and that I put into that project was the creativity was off the charts for me uh, to me it was amazing and that's when I realized that I needed these pills to kind of survive not to survive but to complete work to do good to do good work well to do good work <laughs> to do work well Anyways, that's something that's uh, ingrained in my brain. You do work well, you don't do good work. Or I'm, I'm, yeah. Anyways, uh, ADD, going off. Uh, so, the only thing that I didn't like was how these pills made me feel. I became a different person. I mean, all throughout middle school, elementary school, and middle school, I was kind of a shy kid. Um, this just, magnified that horribly and anybody that knew me in middle school um, and then in the first little part of high school knows knows that about me knows that I was I was not the most open person I was not the most um, ext extroverted person I, I was quiet I was reserved um, I listened um, a lot but the thing was as I hit into maybe 10th grade, I stopped taking the pills because I didn't like how they made me feel, how they made me act. I mean, the one thing that they made me do is to stop eating. And as I read this article and kind of opened my mind to why I feel the way I feel um, is because of the ADD. I love eating food and I love the way food tastes because somebody like us, we taste everything. We taste every sensation. For example, 
a burger, you bite into the burger, you get the grease in the mouth in your mouth, and it fills <laughs> fills your right here and um, the salt. You can taste all of that salt. You can taste the cheese and the <laughs> just all the flavor um, and how hot it is and the feeling and sensations you get from eating is amazing, really. Um, and that's why I really love food. That's why I like to eat. Um, but anyways, that's also the reason why with a burger, all I can have is cheese. The most I can ever add to a burger is onions. I cannot eat. I cannot eat burgers with a lot of stuff on them. With ketchup or mustard and stuff like that. I, I, can't stand it and whenever you see me eat something I'll be like I just want a plain or for example like hot dogs I only eat it with onions and I'm getting off topic as I talk about this and this is why I love video because I can edit every little problem every little problem I have I can edit that out Every tangent, every silence, I can edit that out. And that's why I sit in silence a lot when I'm making my videos. I'm, I talk for maybe two minutes or a minute, 30 seconds. Most of the time it's shorter, it's like 30 seconds. And this happens. It's not a stutter. Uh, it's not me trying to stutter. <laughs> I just have so much going on in my brain, I'm trying to keep it focused on one thing. And with editing, I can just, I can cut all that out. I can cut out all the imperfections, I can cut out uh, how I act, I can cut out everything that's wrong. And until now, I thought I was coping with this issue. I mean, not until I read this post did all this stuff kind of click for me that I still suffer. I suffer, and I just, I was so ashamed of that. I, I just wanted to keep it hidden. I didn't want anybody to know that I had this issue. That, for example, how stressful it can be, and how much anxiety you can get. And I don't like to feel weak, and it makes me feel weak. And... Until recently, I didn't realize I was still suffering. I thought I was coping, but really I was just ignoring. I was ignoring an issue. And it wasn't making my life better. It was making my life, if anything, worse. For example, I'm going to give you a couple examples of, of the way my mind works. So... Couple examples of way my mind works. Uh, I have not been working for the past three months. Uh, I have worked. I worked at my parents' dog daycare for a little while, um, but other than that, I haven't worked all summer. And this is where I really realized, and 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 thinking back on the summer, so now that it's almost over, what was really wrong. For example. The days that I knew that I had stuff that I wanted to do and stuff that I needed to do, um, it was hard for me to get motivated. And not just like normal motivation for a normal person, uh, but I would, for example, Lily would leave for work. And before she goes to work, we like to watch uh, a little bit of Netflix and just spend some quality time sitting next to each other and enjoying each other's company. Uh, one second. It's hot in this room. Um, <laughs> and I'm nervous, obviously. Uh, after she would leave, I would sit on the couch and I'd be on my phone. And I knew there were things I wanted to do. For example, today I wanted to make a video. And I'm doing that now. Because of what I read on my phone. That's the only reason. I wanted to originally make a video of Taste Test Tuesday. Taste Test Tuesday. Blah. But I didn't want to get up, I didn't want to go and try and find something. So I sat on my phone looking for something. While I was doing that, I got distracted. I also wanted to make 
videos for collaborations for our hit record which dot org which is a website that I found um, a few years ago that I am just starting now trying to get into the collaborations and contributing factor of it um, anyways I wanted to do that I wanted to make a few videos for that I wanted to help clean up the apartment because the apartment's messy because I'm a piler because it is that's the way my mind works when I'm thinking of projects and I'm thinking of things and doing things I'm just trying to put things in piles and I have to let my, I have to let my mind walk. It's hard to focus and do this and tell you guys this. So, I have all these things I want to do and I, I'm thinking of doing them, but it's so much easier to sit and not make a decision. It is so much easier to decide to not decide, to decide not to not decide, to decide not to decide. That is so much easier to do. And then I don't get anything done. There was a situation where I was talking to somebody. This is the communication aspect of ADD that I want to talk about because this is where I can suffer the most. This is where people, uh, they, they know me, they uh, know my phone etiquette, they know all that kind of stuff, and it's, there are reasons for this. This is the reason for that. For example, when I'm in person talking to somebody, I'm gonna be listening to them I'm gonna be listening to them for the first few seconds and then as soon as they start talking for longer than maybe 10 seconds I'm gone uh, what happens for example I'm gonna think out loud if you were talking to me if this camera was talking to me right now I'll tell you what's going on in my brain I should really be listening to this uh, their mouth, <laughs> just the way the muscles move. I need to listen, I need to pay attention, I need to remember this because if there's something important in this conversation that they're talking to me about, I need to remember it. That creaky noise is kind of annoying, but they're still talking. I don't remember what they said, I, I don't remember like the last. I need to get a recorder or something to record this conversation because I don't know what you're... I could probably use my phone, but that would be weird if I took my phone every time I wanted to talk to somebody. They would think it was weird. They wouldn't... They'd think I'm not paying attention to them, but I'm trying to just look at them and pay attention to them. I should get like a recorder that I can stick in my pocket or something that I can just hit record and they'll listen, then I can listen to it later and I'll remember exactly what they said. But I don't know if I'm going to remember enough to even keep this conversation going. I might have to enter this conversation early. I might have to like figure out a way to get. I gotta figure out a way to get out of this. I gotta figure out a way to to leave. I don't remember what they said. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I listen. I gotta go. Um, I have to get home and and uh, and do some do some chores around the house. And then I'd leave <laughs> or something. All right. So that's the process that goes on in my brain when I'm talking to somebody. It's frustrating, it's annoying. And I went through this problem all the time, especially when I was working at, uh, uh, for Young Life. Um, I was an office administrator and I'd go over to their house and I'd go over and listen to what uh, I had to do for the week um, and it would just kind of in one ear out the other. So I brought my iPad and I was recording the conversations but I got too distracted to go back and listen to them. I don't want to be honest about this because I'm still friends with <laughs> my direct, my old director that I was, and it was stressful. It was stressful. It was just one of the most stressful jobs I've ever had because I am, I need to do projects. I need to sit and I need to focus and to do that project. And this is stopping me from it. So anyways, ADD. When it comes to the communication aspect, it makes it so hard for me to communicate and I don't want people to think that I don't love them. I don't want people to think that I hate them. I don't want people to think that I'm ignoring them. I don't want people to think 
that I'm a bad person because as soon as I see a text on my phone and if I don't reply right away, I'm not going to. If I get a phone call and I feel like I've got too many things going on right now, I don't answer. I've got nothing going on. I'm sitting on the couch watching Netflix, but everything in my brain is just going at a million miles an hour. And I don't answer the phone because I feel like I have too much going on and it's not physical. It's mental, it's emotional. And then I don't call them back. I don't call them back because I'm too ashamed for not answering the phone in the first place, number one. Number two, I then think about them and start thinking about other things and I get distracted and I just forget to respond. It's the same thing with the text. If I don't respond right away, you're not getting a response. If we're talking and we're constantly texting back and forth, as soon as it takes a little bit too long for you to respond, I'm done. And it's not the fact that I don't want to talk to you. It's not the fact that I hate you. It's not the fact that I don't love you. It's the fact that I, I don't know. My mind, I'm somewhere else. And it's hard to see, it's hard to do. I stopped taking pills because of how it made me feel as a person. It made me less of a person, I felt like, because it helped me back. It did, it held my personality back. As soon as I got into my later college years, you people that may have known me forever know that I all of a sudden became jumpy. Uh, I became more exciting. I wanted to do stuff all the time. I filled up all my time with my friends. I filled up all my time with, my, with activities. I don't remember ever really sitting at home and not doing anything. Because I had to keep moving. I had to keep going. And that's what I loved about my personality that I was just so, ha, yes, let's go, let's do this. Let's go do something. Um, I wanna hang out with you, I wanna talk to you, I wanna go here with you, I wanna, and my friends were my passion. Um, the only positive thing that I can see out of this is my passion. When I start something and I, I love it, I am, I love it. I am passionate. It makes me feel good. When I start working somewhere, I am instantly your most loyal employee you could ever have. Because I am honored that you chose me. And it will be years before I let that go. Years. Because I am passionate. And I will go to great lengths to keep you happy because I'm passionate. If I am your friend and you have been affected negatively by the things that I've done, just know that I don't try to do these things to you because I love you more than anything in the world. And I am so passionate about you. I hate that I've let so many people down because of this. And for those of you who have constantly stuck by me my whole life, I wanna thank you. And you know who you are. And you know my shortcomings and you don't care. And I want to say thank you. You don't know how much that means. Even if you didn't know the issues I had, you still stuck by me. Now I hope that this helps anybody who may become friends with me, who may want to get to know me, that they know that I do these things not to hurt anybody but because I am learning to cope with myself and I'm learning to become a better person by overcoming this. And it's not something that you can overcome. 
instantly. It's something that you have to learn. And now that I realize it, I'm hoping I can do something to make it better. I gotta talk to somebody or do something. And this is my video to you guys, my friends and my family. It's the longest video I've ever made and I'm not gonna cut any of it because not only do I give you information about how I feel, but you can see the thought process, you can see the issues that I have by me making this video. And that's why I love making videos, because I can cut it. I can make it the way I want it to be. If there are any cuts in this video, it's only because the video stopped recording. So I hope that I can make this better for you guys. I hope that you accept me for who I am, accept me for all my shortcomings. And if you have any ideas of things that can help make this better, feel free to leave in the comment section. Feel free to help me out in any way you think I need help. This video is also going on YouTube, so if you guys enjoyed this video, this is really weird to say after it's such a meaningful video, but um, like the video if you liked it and subscribe. But most importantly, if you have this issue, you're not alone. There's a ton of us out there that suffer with this every day. It's not just an academic disease, but it affects your life. And I hope I hope that you understand it a little bit better. And I hope that if you have this issue, that in some weird way, me talking about this has helped you. Thanks for watching.